All right, all right, all right. What's crapping on everybody? We are live, I believe. Yep. Yeah. We are live with some Genesis tonight. This game is weird as hell, but it's pretty darn cool. I need to update our our Twitch info here. Let's see if I can do it from my iPad. Yep. Well, if it'll let me, there we go. And Genesis. Yeah, we get almost bought this game once outlaw what 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 caused you not to buy it this game's fantastic um, I mean it's a little weird it's very simple but uh, it's got great sound I think the rules are fantastic they're unique um, it's a uh, kind of one more game like keep hitting the uh, start button game you know it can be very brutal. This one is particularly brutal. Uh, there's no rubbers on the uh, in-lane, out-lane post. Uh, the tilt's pretty tight. I got rubber feet on it. Um, and there's no warnings. I don't know if that's standard for this era of game, but definitely does not give you warnings. You go immediate, immediately to tilt. Carrie, what's up? My new PC is still in the works. It's being tested as we speak. My buddy Ace Pinball Chad Hobbs is testing it out for me, just making sure that it can uh, be rock solid at uh, 1080, 60 frames. So hopefully soon. So for now, I'm just using my crummy work computer. So still able to stream, but nothing too fancy. This does not look like Jungle Lord. Uh, if you refresh your browsers, hopefully our information is updated. I did it on my iPad here, but this iPad's old as hell, so it might, I don't know how long it takes to update that, but, um, yep, I forgot to update the info, oh well, so, learning Genesis tonight, um, as you'll see on the stream, I put an extra, uh, camera shot on the backboard of the game, so that you guys can see the arms, the brain, the body, and the legs, so if you see below the scores and then above me on the stream uh, window you should see the uh, the lights from the back of the game those are really important because as we'll talk about in a second you need to um, collect body parts to build the robot that's underneath the play field um, this theme is quirky as hell I'm not sure how they came up with this but uh, it is definitely a pretty cool game um, Yeah, the ramps on this are not stock. They're typically this horrible pink color, a solid pink color. But um, I believe his name on pin side is Freeplay40. He makes uh, re reproduction ramps for lots of games, and this is one of them, so you can get clear ones. I think you might be able to get different colors, but got the clear ones on here. A buddy of mine I went through and, and got this game working great and sold it to me for a good price. So now we got it, and we're going to learn it. So. The main objective of the game is building, collecting body parts, okay? There's four different, I guess you could call it robot parts because you can't really say body parts because one of them is body. So you got arms, you got brain, you got body, you got legs. So each one of those uh, robot parts has a different uh, part on the play field that will collect those letters. So as you can see, we have red ABC lanes up top. If we spell ABC, so they'll all be lit, and then when the ball runs through it, they'll go out. So we need to um, 
collect A, B, and C. And we can hit the right flipper button to move the A, B, C around. <coughs> but anyway, if we get A, B, and C, it'll give us one letter for body. If we hit the left ramp, um, that's blue. So arms are blue, left ramp blue. Hit the left ramp, you'll get one letter in arms. Right ramp is green. Legs are green letters. Each time you hit the right ramp, you'll get a letter for legs. And then brain is actually orange in the, um, the back there, but the two orbits, you can see they're flashing yellow. I guess those are supposed to be more orange, but um, yeah. So hit. actually those orbits aren't always both lit. They're never both lit actually. Hitting pop bumpers or uh, slingshots or the kicker targets, which are really neat that Gottlieb, uh, Gottlieb had in a lot of their games. Um, will switch which kind of the right side isn't really an orbit but it'll change which side is lit and, and you'll see when we get started here um, so that's pretty much it we'll get into more details of the rules but that's the main objective you just want to collect body parts and build up your play field multipliers and cash in on building the robot when you get all the parts collected um, another feature in the game is the Vera target. If people aren't familiar with a Vera target, it is a target that you push back, and the further you push it back, the more it's worth. So if you push it back one space, it's worth ten thousand, then twenty thousand, thirty thousand, and if you push it all the way back, it's worth forty thousand. Okay, and then that gets multiplied by all your playfield multipliers, and, and we'll get into that in a second. But the very target is worth points usually, and then when you collect all the body parts, your life force generator, it's this big white insert right here by the center drop targets, that will start flashing. When that's flashing, if you hit the Vera target all the way back, you'll uh, finish building the robot, get a, a big point collect. I believe it's, it might be 500,000 points unmultiplied for building the robot and collecting it via the, the, the Vera target there. But uh, but you'll see as we get into the multipliers that that score can be much, much higher if you have a lot of multipliers going. All right, so moving down the play field, we got center blue uh, drop targets. These are, I think, usually white, but I had to replace them and I got some blue ones instead because I thought they looked better. Um, it'll start with, it has one, two, three inserts in front of it. It'll start with the one flashing. If you hit the the one drop target it will move to two and then three you basically have to hit them in order so if you hit if one's flashing and you hit two three one then the next time they reset the two will be blinking because you need to hit that and then and then three after you hit the two so it's not like some of the Williams games where if you hit the drop targets out of order they immediately reset here they just want you to hit them in order so if you have the three left to hit and it's already down you need to complete the bank to reset it, then get your three to complete it. So you'll see when we get into it. But So what happens though, when you complete those three drop targets in order, it will give you one letter for every body part. So that's huge. Um, that's a big risk reward feature of the game because uh, most of the parts have the same number of letters except for brain. So if you think about it, if you only got body parts via the drop targets, in one swoop you'd complete three out of the four body parts, which is huge. Um, but they're very dangerous, as you'll see, we'll drain a lot off of hitting this. So it's, it's best to dial in the ramps and hitting the left orbit and uh, getting a, a safe feed out of the pops. Usually not too nasty out of the pops, but it can be. So just gotta, gotta be on your flipper skills, things like that, like you normally are. But um, that's pretty much it. Uh, the next part, and it'll become clear when we play, are the multipliers. Each time you collect a body part, arms, brain, body, legs, you'll get a 1x play field multiplier added to, it's called a score multiplier, but it's a play field multiplier. Anyway, you start at 1x, once you collect a body part, you go to 2x, 3x, and then uh, 4x, then 5x if you collect all four body parts, okay? Uh, thanks for the follow, Keltus, Cletus, Cletus, 1410, thanks for the follow. Um, so, again, 1x each time you collect a body part, all right? And then you get to 5x, right? Um, you cannot increase your multiplier anymore until you complete the robot. Once you complete the robot, you can start collecting body parts again and keep increasing that, that uh, play field multiplier. I believe the max play field multiplier you can have is 49x, so pretty nuts. I think the most I've ever had it up to is maybe like 16 or 17. 
but uh, you can just keep racking that up, which is fun. And the last piece to the game is multi-ball. Each time you collect a body part, one of the two ramps will flash. Um, right now, my left flasher is the only one that's working, so if we collect a body part and we don't see any ramps flashing, the right ramp's going to be the one that starts the multi-ball. But anyway, you hit the flashing ramp, it puts another ball into play, but what it also does is it doubles your current multiplier. So if you have a 5x multiplier already going from collecting body parts, when you start multi-ball, you're going to be at a 10x multiplier. Pay attention to our score screen. So when we collect body parts or when we start multi-ball, it will show on the screen what our current multiplier is so we can keep track of it. All right. So that's pretty much it. We'll get rocking and rolling. Uh, let me know if the sound's too loud, but I kind of like to keep it up a little bit because the sound in this game is pretty awesome. So, actually, that sounds pretty loud. So I'm going to turn it down just a tad. Alright, so if that's too loud for everybody, let me know. I can turn it down. Uh, possible to hide the comments. Yes, there should be a little icon that looks like a uh, it looks like a little chat window. It's on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. If you click that, it should put a line through it and not show the comments. Also, there's settings to not allow the comments to to cover up the screen. It'll actually push your screen over and put the comments next to it. I can't remember exactly what that setting is, but try and find that setting too. Alright, so again, we just, like, just want to collect body parts and survive. So we've collected the one, so it's lit solid. Um, the two's flashing, but I have a wonky light there, but the two's actually flashing. So we hit two, now three's flashing. That's how quick they can be. Hey, I'm all pinball, thanks for the bits, man. Ooh, baby. Also, uh, one thing I didn't mention about the center drop targets. they Your progress resets ball to ball, so that makes it hard too. Like I said, crazy risk reward. See, I'm back to one. I was on three in my first ball, but it resets you every ball. So let's go after ramps this time instead of, instead of the center drops, and we'll see if we have a little better luck here. Man. Oh boy. And a lot of times just from flipping around you'll you'll hit down those drop targets without having to specifically go for them. So from hitting the left ramp we got A in arms. Okay. So we need the number two right now. But the only drop tire that's up is three. So if we wanted to go after that two, we need to hit down three so they all come back up and then we can hit two. So now we'll get a leg letter. And the music is always changing depending on how long your ball lasts and different, like when you reach different points in the game. Pretty sweet. Just like pure awesome like 80s Nintendo music. Alright, so now we need one more letter for arms to collect a body part, increase our multiplier, and light multiball. So <clears throat> Oh baby. Oh baby. Okay. So we can do one of two things. We can hit down this three drop target. It'll spot us uh, a letter per body part. And we'll also light our multi-ball. Um, so I think that's the safe bet here. Because typically if I can nick that three drop target from the left flipper, it's fairly safe. Oh yeah, this is golly. This is golly all the way. If it's weird, it's probably a golly. <laughs> okay. So our score multiplier is a 2x right now. We collected arms, so that went 
dark again so we can collect more arms letters. So, and then it gave us one for every other body part. Alright, so our left ramp is not flashing, so I believe our right ramp will start multi-ball, but I'm going to try and get us a brain letter though. Oh. I always forget that only the right flipper moves the top lanes. So used to both flipper buttons always doing that. Shit! Man, usually those orbits are pretty easy. Let's try for some legs. Oh, oh god, that's dangerous. Those kick targets are so cool. If you guys have never seen those before, they're like a spot target, but it has a kicker arm on it. So when you hit the target, the target fires the ball back out. It's kind of like a, a plastic slingshot almost, but they're real small. Man. God, I'm hitting way too early. There we go. Stay with me! Hey, Turbo Gravis, what's up? Alright, so that was a good warm-up game. I'm going to warn you guys right now, there's going to be a lot of stinkers in here while we play this, but... We ain't going anywhere until we blow this up. One thing I didn't mention, I have the current high score listed on the screen. It's over 19 million. That's going to be tough to get tonight. One, because the guy who earned that play with extra balls on and you can get a decent amount of extra balls in this game so I'm trying to do it without extra balls turned on uh, I think this is a game uh, the same system as victory now I've never played that so I'm not sure how the sounds work on that but as far as the layout of the back box and everything the cabinet like it all looks the same all right I need somewhere to put my All right. Come on. Damn. Oh, baby. Don't die. Don't die. This is almost, almost always ended in a drain. I know, it's great, Outlaw. This, it's my favorite part about this game. The first, I had only played this game at a show before, and the sound was not nearly loud enough to hear what it was like. So the first time I had it, I just knew that I liked the gameplay. So the, when I first brought it home and played the first game on it, I was just laughing during the entire game because of how awesome this music is. Same thing, twice. All right. Don't. So we just got a full value on the very target and got screwed on the rebound. We gotta get some long balls going here so we can hear all that this soundtrack has to offer. God damn. I'm usually pretty good at hitting these ramps. I'm missing them, missing them, missing them. That window down here. So if you play with your lunch too much down by the flippers, when the ball hits that window, it's not completely level. So the ball kind of take weird turns on you and drain you. I need to do better at that. So we're getting the top lanes like nobody's business, but we can't do anything else. System ADB. Okay, yep. Now, I don't know how many of the ADBs I've played. I think Robo War is also an ADB. And I love that game. That game's fantastic. Um, 
but I haven't played too many of them. There we go. Now we're hitting some ramps. Now we're hitting some ramps. Stay with me. Gosh, dog it. Nice. Double, double for our money there. Let's go through some center drops, see if we can't survive these. Oh! Too. That's okay. Sometimes if I'm early on in a ball and I'm close to completing multiple body parts, I'm gonna go after those middle drop targets to see if I can really bump up my multiplier. So you can see right now the left ramp is flashing, so that's gonna start multi ball for us. Because we collected the body. Ooh. Nice. Okay. So now. So it doubled our multiplier. We were a 2x, but the, the multi-ball doubles that, all right? But the cool thing about being in multi-ball is you can still collect other body parts, and then it just ups your multiplier automatically. Oh, we just drained right out of multi-ball. Get up there. Legs. Hopefully. Nice. So sometimes, like, so right there, I collected legs, and the game was going to light multi-ball at the right ramp, so it automatically started multi-ball for me. So we need brain. Oh, we just got brain? Alright, so now we just need one letter for arms, and we will have all the body parts collected. Boom. So you should hear a knock. And now, see our life force generator's lit. It's ready for the body to be completed in the robot. Let's see if we... Oops. Okay. So we drained out a multi-ball, so we're back down to our regular multiplier, which is 5x. When we were just in multi-ball, we were at 10x. So, you have a couple options here. We have a robot ready to collect. You can either try and collect a body part really quick, get back into multiball and get those extra multipliers, or collect, complete the robot right now, and then you can start collecting more body parts and get that multiplier even higher. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try and complete the robot so we can unlock more multipliers. Oh! See how tight the tilt is. <laughs> All right. Oh. Don't, don't. Jesus. This is not my night for ramps. Oh god. Oh god. That side to side is usually deadly. But we survived it. Dang. Nice. So our left ramp is lit for multi-ball, not the right, so... That's why we didn't start multi-ball by hitting the right ramp. Okay. Sometimes I can hit the two and the three at the same time, but not that time. So we got another body part. So 
I think because we completed a second body part, it maybe it gave it to us at the right ramp as well. I'm not too sure on that. I was trying to use that ball in the trap to knock the other one out from going in the middle, and that did not go up. Well. Alright, that was a solid first ball, though. <laughs> hey, man, I, uh, I'm, I'm a competitive player. I play in tournaments all the time, so I like it to be, when I go to a big-time tournament, I like the tilts to be, like, easy compared to what I have at home, so I don't like games taking too long. Trying to see which one we still need. Do we still need arm? I think we do still need arms. <laughs> and you'll get housed. Man, we were off to a good start that game, too. This game has no obligation to be nice to you. But like I said, that's what keeps me coming back. We're getting some unlucky feeds here. That's better. Come on now. Got them both. Getting two and three at the same time is awesome. Two birds with one stone. I need to do something about that pot bumper. It's a little. It's not sensitive enough. Stay with me, thank you. Oh, get around with the backhand. Don't see the uh, backhand ramp shot on this too often. You kind of have to do it on the fly. Drop target. Hey. One thing I didn't mention. Although you don't want to have any body letters left when you drain, because hopefully you're collected body parts. But for each for each letter you have lit up in the backboard when you drain, you get 10,000 bonus per. There's no bonus multipliers that I know about. Um, also, these special lights will light up at some point. Okay, that's after completing the robot. When you complete the robot and hit the very target all the way back, um, you'll have an alternating special light on these kickback targets. My left one is burnt out, so you'll only see the right one lit, but it alternates. And I think it's just a, a score. I, I'm not sure exactly what it gives you, but, uh, I mean, you know how that goes. You can either have in the settings to give you points, extra ball, like that kind of stuff. I'm not really sure what mine will give you. <clears throat> feel a monster score in our uh, near future here. But if I don't show you guys this robot body at some point, I'm going to feel real bad. So in the past when I had seen this game, I saw this lower play field, and I always just assumed the lower play field was broken. 
because I never saw it do anything. But it turns out it's just kind of hard to get it to get it to do its feature. Come on. I got away with that. Ah! Wow. We're gonna need to... We're almost ready to add credits to this damn thing. Alright. Need to get our mojo going. Give me those bodies. Need them body letters. Damn. We're getting a lot of pop action here. A thousand points of pop, that ain't too terrible. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Shit! God damn. I knew it was going to walk out there anyway, but I still couldn't save it. Man. Gotta start making our shots, boys and girls. There's one. Special as a credit. Well, that's uneventful. <laughs> that doesn't do us any good on a free play game. Can I set the, can I set the special up to give us like a hundred grand or something? I noticed in the manual for this, there wasn't much in the way of, like, customizing the settings. Stay with us. God damn! Twenty million this game? I'll take it. I'll take it. You're an idiot. Flip the flippers. I'm getting too cute with my, uh, flipper play here. One thing I like about this game, too, is Gottlieb sit a lot higher than a normal pinball machine like that you're used to seeing. Especially like newer Sterns that are so steep and the front of it sits so low to the ground. I would say my ACDC Premium and my World Cup Soccer, at least they, the front of the game sits at least six inches lower than this game. So as a taller guy, it's nice to kind of just stand up straight and play. Yeah. Thanks for the info, dude, but I, I'm not surprised that you can't change the specials rules. Well, who said 20 million in that game? You were way off. <laughs> Late to the party, gun nut, as always. Are you hammered right now? Let's go drop targets all day for a few games and see what we can do with that. <laughs> well, we got one letter. All right, drop targets all day. Next few games, all we're going to do is drop targets. Work on our, our nudging and saving skills off those dangerous targets. Oh, criminy. God. Those slings are so nasty. Come on. Come on. Man, so you can see there, you can also have a real quick game with drop targets. Man. Okay. Drop targets only game number two. 
looks like I have, if you guys just noticed there, we had this, this side for the brain letter lit, and I think we had that switch adjusted a little too tight, because as we were in the pop bumpers and nudging the game, it registered over here and gave us a brain letter, so I'm going to have to look at that. Because when I first got the game, that switch wouldn't register fast shots, so I made it more sensitive, but now I think it's a little too sensitive. Yeah, 19, yeah, that 19 million is the high on this machine, but that was with the extra balls turned on, and I'm trying to get there with them turned off, so. <laughs> I think we got our work cut out for us. always walks out that alley and I went against our strategy for center drop targets we'll get back to it here Get that left ramp so we can get in the multi. Oh, yeah. Trying to hit that last drop target. Genesis fan in the house. Come on. That's what I was trying to do the last ball and it didn't work. So I think what we're learning here is it's best to pick and choose your drop target battles. Like if you got multiple body parts that are one letter away, that's when I think the risk is worth it. Damn. So uh, that's the risk there. We were one or two letters away from almost every body part, but we didn't get anywhere. The left out lane is killing us. Like I said, just taking those little rubbers off those posts makes this game brutal. Well, it's more fun that way. I mean, the game's super simple. So it's just all about making shots and ball control. And very skillful nudging, because like we've seen, it's very sensitive. So no big moves, just quick jabs. Yeah, uh, the new games are popular, um, so you're going to get, you typically will get, at least in my experience, if you do have a newer game that people are wanting to see, you, you'll tend to get more viewers, but I just stream stuff that I want to stream, and if, if you want to watch, cool, if not, that's cool too. 
But I also try to do like the new stuff. I will go over uh, Penn Stadium's place and see all the the newest LEs and stuff like that, which is pretty sweet. I do like doing that. <clears throat> Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right, all right. Plus, I'm all about learning new games and teaching people new games, so... Damn! Oh, yeah. The, the base on this is killer because I have an external sub ho hooked up to it. <laughs> but it's good anyway, so I was like, well, why not make it better? So I'm one away from arms and legs. So I'm gonna try and do drop targets and pick off a couple body parts at once. There we go. So I think we might start multi-ball here. Yep. Okay, so we got a couple body parts, doubled for multi-ball, 6x. So we want to work on brain and body while we're in here. Brutal! Give us a break, Genesis. Why are you being such a dick? the drop target into the nice now we got them all all right so we got our we got our robot ready to collect but we want to start multi-ball first god damn it come on don't be a dick There we go. All right. 10x multiplier. We want the Vera target. We want to kick that all the way back. Oh, baby. Come on. Oh! One more tick back and we would have had it. So I get control of this ball. Damn it. Okay. There we go. Body has been revealed. Is that not the greatest special effect you've ever seen in pinball? <laughs> it is so stupid. It is so stupid, but it's amazing. So now we can keep our multipliers going. We're at 5x right now, I believe. And each time we collect more body parts, we're going to add one to that total. And then obviously double it each time we're in multi -ball. Get around. Thanks for the biggest gun, nut. Yeah, this one's in real good shape. It's not going to win any beauty contests. I mean, hell, if it was a brand new game, it wouldn't win any beauty contests, but it's in good shape. Oh, nice. No! Man! Alright, we still got one ball. Our multipliers are at five still. We just gotta collect some 
collect some pots and get back into multiball. So now, once you're at like at least a 5x multiplier, you just want to collect body parts and get back into multiball. Collect a body part, multiball. Collect a body part, multiball. Don't. God dang. Stay with me. Collect them both. Yes. Stay, stay. God, you stay. Stop letting the ball bounce and hit it. Alright, we're making a dent in it. Yeah, it's always a dick is right. The ro the robot does kind of look like uh, look like that. Oh. It shouldn't be a terrible, terrible problem to find one for around a grand, 1100, uh, 1200 max. Now, I wouldn't pay much more than that for one, just because when you want to get rid of it, people aren't going to pay much more than that, I don't think, but it's definitely a fun game if you can find one for cheap. A question about the insert. Let me see. Here's... So do you mean like does the ball like change directions like like between the the window and the play field? Mainly does right down by the flippers because there's a crack in it at one of the screws. So I know that if the ball's moving slowly around there, that I, I need to be on the ready to swat the ball away because it's not gonna it's gonna change direction on me. But it seems pretty level um, if I remember correctly from messing around in the game before when I was cleaning stuff up. Alright, alright. Let's get that three and get a couple body parts. Yes. 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 What? I've seen a couple of aftermarket translates for this, and I think they look terrible. I'd much rather have the original. You can just tell they're not original. They look stupid. And these things are always faded. So, like, I I've seen new ones, and as far as, like, the colors go, it's not nearly as bad. Just all the ones you see are completely yellow with fade. They almost look black and white. parts. Get up there. Don't do that. Did we get a credit? <laughs> Come on. 
Come on, dummy. Now you deserve a drink. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it does. Castlevania on the NES. Pr like... Pretty wild. 10x multipliers. Keep these two balls in play. Boys and girls. God damn. So you can think about things for a second. We just hit. We just hit a. I don't know if it'll bring us up instant info. If I press the buttons on the front, or I think it should tell us. Okay, so we have 5x score multiplier. So when we hit that bear target all the way back, it normally only gives us 40,000 points. But boom, at 5x we're, we got 200 grand for that one shot. So, if you're playing competitively, and you're sitting at 5x, and you just keep getting it on a trap to the right flipper, and you can dial in that bear target, just take 200k a pop. But, when we're trying to get 19 million, we gotta go big or go home. Alright, so we got brain and legs one away. I'm gonna try and collect legs, just see if we can start multi-ball at the same time. Come on, don't! Oh, so lucky! Don't, don't waste this opportunity. Oh, brick, brick house! Don't do that to me! Don't do that to me! So we've got a couple four million games and a bunch of stinkers. Shoulders, knees, and toes. We definitely need to. I, I need a mod to dress up that robot. But I, I was dicking around underneath the game, and it seems like it's kind of a bitch to get that thing out of there to do anything to it. I'd love to put different outfits on him. <sighs> New beer. I know we had some issues with the stream last week and, and my crappy computer I'm using, so hopefully it, it looks okay. I know it's only 30 frames and things like that, but th th that's really all that computer can handle, just as long as it's not lagging. drinking. I am. It's one of my favorite beers from a brewery in Lexington, Kentucky. It's uh, West Six, and it's actually like one of the first beers they made. They made this and an amber ale when they first opened, and still cranking it out today, and it's pretty awesome. I got a couple uh, close friends that I grew up with that work for them, so I've always been into their beer. Yep. 
gun nut, you're blind. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love IPAs, man. Love them, love them, love them. What's your favorite, favorite IPA? That's good, Gun Knight. I only heard you had to half be able to see to play pinball, so that's good. Oh, dang, it didn't let us start multiball right away. That's because it wants us to hit the right ramp. Alright, 4x multiplier. We need more parts. Try and hit these drops. There we go. Now we got another body part down. Let's do more drop targets. There we go. There we go. Ah, damn. I think we need brain and body. If any of you are wondering how to tell which body parts you've collected, there are these really shitty dim lights in the lower play field that tell you. And just by looking down there, I think we have arms and legs, but they're so close together it looks like all four of them are lit up. for brain. Oh god. Right on. Well, uh you should I can't remember where you're located at. Are you in the Texas area? Um, pretty sure you can get Dogfish Head anywhere, but Dogfish Head 90 Minute IPA is my favorite, favorite IPA ever. There's also a couple Stone Brewery from California's IPAs are pretty awesome. Just their regular IPA, and then they have a, um, Ruination IPA that's really good. Stone Brewery is just amazing. If you're ever in the San Diego... It's not in San Diego, but it's near there. It's like a half, like within a half hour of San Diego. It's like the coolest brewery I've ever been to. <laughs> the 120 minute IPA will put some hair in your chest for sure. <laughs> I mean, I almost threw it away after a couple of drinks because it was so different and strong but by the end of the beer I liked it but not really into paying like I think it was like 14 or 15 bucks for one 12 ounce bottle so don't really care that much but it was a it was definitely fun to do once but, I can't believe I just saved that what's up Okay. Nice jump. But the tree's not as big as it is. Oh, yeah. The house either the house needs to be shorter or the tree needs to go off the page. <laughs> What's good though? I think it's huge. I wish we had trees like that here. Alrighty. Did we just get arms? No. We have no letters for arms? How is that possible?
Oh, man. That was a save. Turn 20 minute was just kind of like to say that I had one. I think 90 minutes is the perfect, um, perfect level of alcohol content, hops, taste, the whole deal. Christ. So what's our best so far? Four million. We haven't even gotten 25% of the high score. Mm. Titan pin mat was going to help me. It's definitely not. tilted if I would have saved it. Damn! Good thing these games don't cost money to play each time. I'd have been broke by now. Just like these targets are just like, we're gonna take it and we're gonna sh throw you right down that way. What are you doing? I'm gonna get one more left ramp, and then we're gonna get drop targets. Cause then we'll get arms, legs, brain. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> well, we're set up for a big ball three here. Oh, we gotta get ABC all over again. So ABC doesn't save our progress either. I was gonna say we can get to one before body, and then do drops, but. Don't. Holy shit. No, oh, it didn't start multi ball. Okay. 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 God, you suck. Had the makings for a big one, but we blew it. I 
Thanks for the biddies, gun nut. It has to have been one of the worst games I've ever played. Under 200,000? Running out of credits here. We gotta get some specials. I could have flipped that. Come on. 13,000 points. Terror targets are so satisfying to hit when you hit them all the way back. Such a cool um, feature that has been around forever. They need to bring those back for sure. Need more Vera targets. And gobble holes, right, Hobbs? Gobble holes. Piddly 4x multiplier. Let's make that more. Let's get more than that. God damn. It's just so easy for the balls to drain on this that it's very difficult to have a long multi ball. No. Like, I feel like I'm not tilting now. <sighs> Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> well, no, we didn't even... I was like, oh, it says 50,000 for the outlane, but I think that's only when lit. <laughs> Looks like my buddy's score might survive another night here. Jeez Louise. Now you're just not even playing. Come on. We're going to put like 200 games on this tonight. Take it. Just give me a good feed. Give me a good feed. Alright. 
I want legs to see if it'll give us multi-ball right away. No! Run away from body. What about tap passing on this? Oh! God, that was terrible, dude. Now you deserve a drink. No way. Alright, no messing around. Now, now I'm playing for real. Those are just practice games. Hitting it up there. Whoa, baby. Oh, that was a bad drop catch. Should not have done that. <laughs> that could not. That, that ball could not have wanted to go to that lane any more than that. Yeah, we've got another brain loader for no reason. Need to check on that. And it might be the. The left lane. Jesus. What we got? One for arms. Come on, boys and girls. Let's go. Give me one more for body. Come on. Get some drop targets. Got our body ready for the next ball. Okay. Now, do we have a multi ball ready? I think we have multi ball ready on that right ramp. I gotta fix that flasher. It's definitely not the ball. There's something wrong with the actual socket. Get up there! <laughs> Get up there! <laughs> I think that starts multi ball. No! I think we need to collect the robot now. Another tap pass? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that in a tournament. Note to self. make a lot of people mad at my next tournament. <laughs> Don't be 
you laugh at me, gun nut? You don't have the balls to try and tap ass. <laughs> One fifty-eight. That's our new low for the night. We should have set a uh, a low score goal instead of a high score goal. We have much better luck at that. God damn it! God, dude, what are you doing? way. I guess I just still had it going from the last time. Back to back low games. 158 then 123. Yuck. Yeah, so that 12 million I got was with the extra balls on. I got at least two of them. Yeah, eight million's my only legit no extra ball score. Don't walk out! Man! Hey, it just takes practice, man. I mean, I practice it all the time and I still screw it up, so. One of those skills that can be invaluable on some of these older games. I swear, now we're just, now we're really just, really just going after these low scores. This is crazy. We are starting ball three right now with 30,000 points. Oh, we were almost dead. Come on, you dumbass. Ooh, he makes a shot. Yeah, no, Hobbs, it's kind of like that. It's these feast or famine games. New low, three in a row. 158, 123, 120. Can we go lower? Can we go lower? just takes that one extra bounce and adjusts to the outlay. Hobbs, you going to that tournament at, at Ken's house on Monday? We'll be on vacation. We won't be able to make it. But you've been, yeah, you've been over uh, Ken's house before for league, so I'm just going to ask if you had ever been over his house for, to play his collection before. Not lit. Oh yeah, good point. <laughs> he is a trek for you. Well, that multi ball was fun, guys. Go 
I still need body or is it legs? Tilt for sure on that. <laughs> Multi ball. Get up that ramp. Ramp. There we go. Yeah, I'm missing legs. Oops. Hit the lit ones, not the unlit ones. The other ball got in the way. Bad live catch. Why did I think that was going to bounce over? <sighs> this game is weird. chance. I will not own an Elvira 3. I cannot believe that's a theme that has lasted for three different games. my Funhouse 2.0? That's what I want to know. Stiff puts me to sleep every time I play it. I immediately develop narcolepsy when playing that game. Give me Genesis any day. <laughs> Start multi -ball. Yes. Whoa, baby. Ah, I knew it. I was like, that game rocked when I smacked. Ah. Yikes. Tilting during multi ball. No good. what they say or anything. Well, you know, 
know what? I wonder if it's flashing. We haven't collected it yet. See how our other body parts aren't flashing? But we still have one that we haven't collected. And that's body, I think. There we go. Life force generator. There it goes. Yes! and tap pass. Alright! Alright! 10x multiplier, let's go! Let's get some more body parts. Stay with me. Stay with me. Mm. You suck, dude. Swing away. Swing away, Meryl. There we go. Now get up that damn ramp. That's another body part. Now we're playing with fire. 14 X. Let's go. Let's go right now. Here's where we can make hay. Right here. So let's just do some math right now. So we had 14x going for that multi ball. Had we got that last body part and hit the bear target all the way back, 14x body collect, 7 million. That's how you cash in big on that game. But we didn't do it because we suck. No lower play field. It needs all of that space to reveal the robot. We had an opportunity at a 7 million point shot, and we blew it. Now we're back to getting our asses kicked. Yeah. Hell, 7 million 
on that one shot would have been most of our games combined tonight. <laughs> Once you collect that first robot and can unlock being able to do more multipliers than five, then it's on. Huh. My legs will give out way before I get to 20 million, I feel like, tonight. I got the clear remake Genesis ramps. You are correct, Nap, my friend. Oh, we are out of credits. Twenty more credits, twenty more games of pure punishment. Hey, Pinball Nerd Podcast, thank you. I do not have the alternate back glass. I was just talking about how stupid I thought those looked. The original's terrible, but at least it's original. The alternate back glasses look terrible. They just they don't look original. You gotta embrace the weirdness of this game. Don't be trying to church it up and make it look good. Just embrace it. Go, baby! Make my own then, yeah. That'll take the ugliness of this game to a whole new level. Damn! Yeah, it's weird, uh, pinball nerd. I'll, I'll have games where, like, I can't miss them. But, I mean, that, that's pinball. I feel like I say that on every game I play. <laughs> but, no, I mean... These are definitely ramps where it's, like... I'll find them. You know, and I'm just like, boom, 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 boom. And I don't know if it's lack of concentration or what, but that was lack of concentration right there. Nap, thanks for the biddies. Back last one. I shouldn't need much more than those 100 bits to to get a different one. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure whatever mods that are available for this game, they're dirt cheap. Ah! Yeah, it's completely rethemed the game to something. That'd be kind of cool. I definitely want to customize that robot in the lower play field. That'd be hilarious. Oh yeah. We got it. That would be a hilarious photo shoot. We'd have to have my wife play the center chick. She's got dark hair and she could definitely do the makeup like that. <laughs> Gun nuts, thanks for the bitters. stay with me. Alright. Arms and legs are one away. Let's go to Drop Target City. Mm. 
Why do I set these games up this mean? I'm a glutton for punishment. Nope, 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 nope. Stay with me. Let that tilt pop settle for a second. Tilt City is right. One more for body, but we'll get that multi-ball. If I don't blow it. I'm missing these damn ramps. There we go. <laughs> Alright, we need body. One more letter. Nice. That robot with multipliers. Woo! Yes, there we go. Now we're playing with fire. Boom, 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 boom. So weird playing this while that's going on. <laughs> If you don't like this game, you just don't like having fun. is that? Uh, a local spot that you go play at? Or like a distributor or something? The, um, Alice Cooper definitely has tight shots, but they're makeable. I mean, all the spooky, I haven't played America's Miss Haunted, but I've played Rob Zombie a lot, and Alice Cooper a decent amount to get a good feel for the shots and how hard they are. They're definitely hard. I mean, it, it takes me out of my comfort zone for sure. Um, it's not like a Steve Ritchie game, you know, where you can kind of get the shots down pretty quick. Um, yeah, I definitely want more time on it because from the videos I watch, it seems like the rules are right up my alley, you know, real real unique and, and uh, deep and things like that, lots of strategy. But yeah, I mean, the, the shots are definitely not easy. Um, I'm not sure which one I would say is harder, that or Houdini. I think I would say Houdini shots are a little bit harder, so if you've played that, I don't think they're quite as difficult to hit as Houdini, but I, I like Houdini a lot too, and those shots are real hard. But, as you guys know, I'm a glutton for punishment, so. As we've seen from playing this game for almost two hours now. <laughs> okay, sounds like it's worth the hour drive for sure. Come on. Man. Newbie.
Oh yeah, Nap, um, Deadpool's grown on me too. Like with every code update, it's just better, 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 better. Adding modes, adding rules, tweaking rules, making things better. I've been uh, really happy with where that game's gone in the past six, eight months, however long it's been out. It's been a fun ride. We've had it at the local bar where we have tournaments at, so um, we've all kind of watched it like evolve as it since it came out. It's pretty, it's pretty sweet. Pretty much everything, everything we had to complain about it when it came out and like in the early stages. They changed and fixed all of it with code updates. So, it's like the team at Stern was really listening to feedback, or they just kind of came to the same conclusions themselves and, and made the game better. It's been great. SKB, what's up? Now you tilt while it's going through my bonus. Do we need an airport mod for this? Or one even fit in here? Nope. Yeah, SKB. Um, I definitely agree that they um, did a great job with that. What? Really? You'd like this game, my friend. It's Multipliers Galore. So, you can see I kind of highlighted the back of the game. Arms, brain, body, legs. Each colored shot represents each one. So, and the brain is orange on the back box, but the brain is the flashing yellow. So if you hit green, well, so yeah, we hit a couple yellows, so it's giving us brain, brain letters. And then so we hit green, so we're getting a leg letter. Each time you spell one of the body parts, you get a multiplier added to your play field multiplier immediately. So right now we're at 1x. With each body part we collect, it goes up by 1x. And that stays for the rest of the game. Once you collect all the body parts, you will light this white insert right here that's in front of the Vera target, which is right here. If you bash the Vera target all the way back, you'll complete the robot body, and you can continue to collect multipliers after that. The limit is 49x. <laughs> Now I don't know if that's with the multi-ball doubler, so if you get into multi-ball, your current multiplier is doubled, um, but from what I'm reading, 49x is the highest multiplier you can get, so you can collect 48 body parts and get your multiplier up to 49. Yeah, I know Stern definitely listens to feedback. I know, like, and and Steve can speak to this as well. I mean, Dwight had a lot of feedback from a lot of us beta testers on Game of Thrones, and there was definitely stuff that he put into the game that we all kind of would give him suggestions on. Um, so, yeah, they definitely listen, you know. And, the, and there's a method of the madness. There's been plenty of times where I've talked to Dwight about rules in a game or how to improve the game and sometimes it's just it doesn't make sense like it's not really like a it's not something that's possible or something like that just because i'm not a, a coder i don't know how things work i just i'm always thinking of oh this would be cool but sometimes it's just not in the cards so but you're right yeah they're always listening always because they're a pretty proud group over there so and they should be 
So yeah, SKB, the, the highest we've had, the multiplier tonight, was 14x. And that was with a doubler. So we got to 7x normal, and then in multiball we were at 14x. So I fumbled and drained on like a 7 million point shot. And you can see the score we're going going for tonight is, is 19 million. So we would have been, you know, within a few million of that had I made that shot. But oh well. But the score that we're trying to beat on here was with extra balls turned on. So makes it much more difficult. And another rule, Steve, is hitting these drop targets in order. One, two, three in the middle will spot you a letter on every single body part. Yeah, I mean, I'm ready to uh, swap out my Game of Thrones Pro for a pre or an LE for sure. Um, of, of the premium and LEs that I've played of Game of Thrones, I definitely don't prefer them, but... Like in a home environment with me being able to tweak the game and make it play really good. I think that that could change for sure. Dang, nobody start yawning. That's my problem was I didn't get another beer. I'll do that after this ball. For this game, I should say, this ball three. That should have been a tilt. Once you collect a body part, Steve, uh, one of the ramps will be flashing for multiball. And it'll double your multiplier. We only have collected one body part. So that was 2x. Then we're starting multiball, it doubles it to 4x. You can still collect body parts during multiball. So that's pretty much the main goal is to just keep getting body parts to increase that multiplier. And that's how quick multiball goes. So I collected another body part, actually two more. Um, oh, and we got the last one. So now we got all body parts done. Our life force generator is going to light, that white light. So we want to start multi-ball. So we can get that double or score. And then we'll go for the Vera target for the big collect. Now, at 10x... I want to say maybe it's a couple million. So we'll see. Damn. There we go. Let's see what it is. Why didn't we... Yeah, so maybe you don't get as much as I thought for collecting the robot. Now, we did get a decent amount of points before that, but I'm not sure what that was for. But again, 10x... It's good news. <clears throat> and now we can keep going with our multipliers by collecting more body parts now that we've completed the robot. Okay, 12x multiplier. 
We're starting to get a little crazy here. Damn! Don't! Oh, three, not good. God damn those outlines. Yeah! The lower play field is stupid, but awesome at the same time. Yeah, so if my my job tonight is for anybody watching the stream, next time you're at a pinball show, and normally you would have just walked right by this game, but now you're going to know it's fun as hell. Hopefully the sound will be turned up, and uh, you can enjoy it, but definitely a game that you should not pass up. stupid that lower play field is like the fanfare for completing the robot is pretty sweet no Look at this half drop target I don't know, like, I I'm a bad person to ask on games that you like, because it's rare I come across a game I don't like. And we were talking about the Gottliebs that I've played earlier from this era. System ADB. But, um... And I like the ones that I've played. This and River War and what are the other ones I've played? I've played TX Sector once, but it was a real quick game, and I don't really remember it, but that's regarded as one of the best Gottlieb games from this era. Um, I actually like Gottlieb games quite a bit. I just got to play a Gottlieb The Games this weekend. It's an Olympic theme. Um, that was pretty fun. A lot of the Gottlieb games are kind of light the spinner, rip the spinner, like... Um, Ice Fever and Alien Star, um, great games, but kind of one-shot wonders. But um, Alien Star is definitely better than Ice Fever. There's more to do in that game than just the um, the spinner. But yeah, I I frequent the Cleveland show and the Louisville Arcade Expo. I feel like I've seen it every single year I've been to the Louisville Arcade Expo. So that might be why. Um, I think it might be fairly common at a show. Uh, but yeah, like I said, if you if you find it at a show, definitely don't pass it up. There won't be lines for it, I can guarantee it. <laughs> That's how I learned to love Robo War. It was, I think it was the first Louisville show I went to. Uh, my buddy brought his Robo War. The lines were really long because they didn't have as many games as they normally would because there was a big ice storm and people kind of changed their plans. So there's lines at every game and nobody was playing Robo War. You know, it's it's set up like this game as far as like the artwork and everything. It's not very appealing. And I sat there and I played that game for like two hours straight. That game's awesome. Yeah, System 3s, I mean, they're plenty fun too. The, the Gottlieb DMD games. I really like uh, Freddy Krueger. Um, so the, the only problem I have with some of those is 
the rules are goofy. So it'll just give you gobs and gobs of points for no reason, or like as long as you get to like the final mode, it just gives you you know a hundred, you know, a few hundred million points or whatever. So that can kind of stink. Like I like Gladiators a lot, but it, it suffers significantly from scoring exploits, you know. So um, it's kind of hard as a competitive player to kind of get away or to kind of get that out of your mind. Haunted House is a good game. Of of the Gottlieb um, dual play field games, I definitely like Haunted House a lot more than Black Hole. I think Black Hole just really doesn't have much going on. I don't like the rules. But Haunted House, adding that that upper play field, not the main play field, but then the third the upper play field on top of that, I think that really adds to the game. Whereas Black Hole is just the main play field and the lower play field. Yeah, having those reverse uh, play fields underneath the main play field, that's awesome. I love that. Yes, I've played Spring Break too. Um, don't remember much from it. I just remember that I found some little loop de loop over to the right, and I felt like I could hit that over and over and over again and get a high score. So I got kind of bored with it quick, but. Ooh, wrestling game. Was it Tag Team? I played Tag Team recently in a show, and I liked that game a lot. Yeah, the layout on Spring Break, I feel like it's like five different games going on. I don't like when the, the game's sectioned off a lot like that. Like, I didn't enjoy Gold Wings because of that. It's like this split play field where there's all this crap going on over here and then you got your flippers way over here. I don't know. I just didn't like it that much. Genie is as wide as they get. So Genie is like Paragon, Embryon, Hot Doggin, where the play field is just as wide as the back box. So super wide. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to repeat that comment. <laughs> Wizard lizards. <laughs> definitely never heard that before. Cheetah? I want to get a cheetah so bad, plop it right next to my big game. I haven't even played a cheetah, but I'm willing to buy it, buy it sight unseen based off the videos I've seen. Dial that bad boy in. But I haven't been looking real hard for them, but they're definitely not for sale every day. <laughs> Come on, stay with me. Three. 
Slam Tilt. Yeah, th those guys do have a cheetah. I'm jealous. I remember them streaming uh, a while back on a cheetah. Man, I need to... My lockdown bar latch keeps jiggling loose. I think you told me that before, Nap. It's like, what, are you like one of three people that actually submitted a score on Pindigo for that? <laughs> Another uh, cool Louisville Arcade Expo story, there is some guy that brought three or four of the Atari games, and there was this really neat setup they had for them. It was kind of this like half moon where they kind of had them set off to the side and they were all like lit up in like a like I said like a little crescent um, configuration off to the side and it was really cool because they're all lit up the exact same they're all in great shape like so we went down and just played them all I mean I can't say I had fun playing any of them but it was definitely cool I think Airborne Avenger is Steve Ritchie's first game. Fudge! <laughs> yeah. Christopher Lick. Yes. The music is the number one reason why I immediately did not regret having this game in my house. <laughs> and hooking in a hooking a powered external sub up to this game too was one of the best decisions I've ever made. Hey now, Hobbit's a great game. You just gotta get past the questionable layout and dive into those amazing rules and theme integration. Alright guys and gals, we're going to play this one and a couple more and then we'll call it a night. Thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully you learned a little bit about a game you normally would have not given two shits about. Now I know how you feel, Nap. I'm running out of space, too. Uh, but counting the space that's being taken up by friends' games, I'm pretty much out of space right now. Um, I don't pack the games in in my house. I, I like to keep them spaced out. So, while I could probably squeeze one more in comfortably, 16 is pretty much my max, which I'm at right now. But again, three of those are friends of mine. So. Get around. Come on. Go to your home. You too good for your home? Nice. Thanks for the bits. Loving the Gottlieb Premier love. Oh. Oh, yeah. Are we done? Yes. Yeah. 
Yes, bring it to me. Bring it to me. I need that life force. No! God damn. I need to see that robot one last time. Quite possibly could be the best feature ever put in to a pinball machine. Oh, I've had this happen before. We lose the music. Sound effects are still here. <laughs> and I think we don't get them back until the ball drains. So more godly weirdness for you. <laughs> so weird. Get up there. There it comes. It came back. <laughs> Get up there, arms. Come on, start multi-ball with that. We can do this. We can do this. I believe in us. I believe in us. No way! No way! That is so unfair! God! Just when I think we're gonna get there. Yeah, uh, I remember them doing a Bad Girls. They've done some... Now is... I know they did Bone Busters one time. Is that Premiere? I mean, I mean, I know it's Gottlieb, but I can't remember what the whole Premiere deal was and how long that lasted. I know they did Bone Busters one time. I'm trying to think. They definitely get some, did some cool, unique games, too. I love the format of their um, their Brody even pinball. That was such a good idea. Just go to people's houses, battle them, learn about them, their collection, and then have them play the Brody even pinball crew. That was that was pretty unique and fun to watch. That's good to know. So I saw the pointy flippers. I, I remember having pointy flippers, and I wasn't sure, um, you know, what system that fell in. Um, I don't remember uh, Buffalo doing hoops. I'm sure they have. Like I said, they'll uh, they'll get all kinds of games you don't see too often. But I've seen hoops streamed on competitions before. I think Zach, Zach and Josh Sharp, or, or maybe just at Josh Sharp's house, like one of those two owns it. And I think the um, the IFPA 100 tournament 
They played it. Damn. Alright, after this game, we're gonna call it. Still kind of peeved about that last game. We had it set up. Only through ball two with big time multipliers. Alright. One last game. Again, thanks everybody for watching. That was tons of fun. We learned a cool new weird game. You guys got to see something that um, you don't see too often. So, again, thanks again for watching. That was tons of fun. Alright, now let's get this 19 million. <laughs> get up there! Oh, come on, dude. You suck. Be that multi ball. Dang. God damn. Shit. Yeah. I think you're right. He had that cow poke too. It was like this cool EM that had this uh, back box feature that it was like a, I think it was a horse or something or a cow or in the back box that would like animate at certain points during the game. That thing looked brutal. I don't think the players were too happy to have to play that game. <laughs> it's like when people have to play my Dipsy Doodle over here, they, they get real mad. Get up there. Oh, okay. So they've done hoops as well. <laughs> now, if I remember hoops correctly, it seemed to be a heavy on, I guess, I feel like there was like, isn't there like a mystery shot that like, even on like tournament mode or whatever, it's like the second mystery award and it gives you like a bunch of points. So it's kind of like, all right, who can get to that award fastest? I don't know, I can't remember. I remember hearing good things about hoops and it being a good game, but I just feel like when I was watching that competition, I was like, I don't really see it, but maybe I'm just misunderstanding the rules and what they were talking about. Oh, hurry ups. Okay, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, this game is not easy. This game is not easy. But we want that left ramp. That left ramp's flashing. We want multi -ball. dude. There you go. Let's get 
that last body letter. God damn, don't drain, don't drain. Oh, I thought I was going to get that with a backhand. <gasps> that was a save and a half right there. I'm definitely highlighting that. Don't kill me. Come on. Well, we had a cool slap save to robot completion. That was cool. That was fun. All right. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. Next week, I will not be here. I'll be on vacation with my family. We're taking a road trip through Tennessee, going to North Carolina, and then we'll be back the week afterwards. So not next Tuesday, but the Tuesday afterwards, we will play some more pinball. I will probably... Find my uh, thread on Pinside. Uh, sometimes I'll just have people vote on what they want to see. I might put something up on Facebook as well. So if you're on the Pinball Enthusiasts uh, group on Facebook, pay attention to that. I might put a poll up on what I stream next. But uh, yeah, I got a bunch of games here, so we'll figure out something for the next time. Thanks again. Peace.